This is example six in our integration topic. In example five, we looked at integration by substitution. This is the kind of first part. It's a slightly easier integration by substitution method. Um, and what we're looking for is a product of terms, two terms in X. One is a composite function and the other is the derivative of the inside function of that term. So let's just check that we've got that here. Um, remember that we could actually rearrange the integral of 12 cos x sine squared x dx. We've got 12 times the cos of x multiplied by sine x squared. It's a bit easier to remember that sine squared x is actually a composite function. So we've got sine x and then the second function is square that. So we've got a composite function sine x squared. And the other term that's multiplying in terms of x cos x is the derivative of sine x. So because that's in place, we're able to use this particular method of integration by substitution. So what we do is, as we did in example 6, we're going to set a variable u for this inside function. So we're going to say let u equals sine x, which means the derivative du by dx is cos x. And at this point, if you don't get something similar to the other term, then you've done something wrong. So there we've got cos x there. Uh, we can multiply through to get rid of the fraction, du by dx, multiply by dx, and we end up with cos x dx. Now, at this point, it's sometimes helpful to rewrite it so that you've got all of the extra, but you notice that it's 12 cos x and not just cos x. So, what would we actually do? We need to multiply the right-hand side by 12 there. So in other words, what we're really looking to do is to substitute in where we come across 12 cos x dx. We're going to substitute in 12 du. Okay, so let's do the substitution. We've got the integral. Our sine x is u, and therefore we've got u squared. And what we're left with is 12 cos x dx, which we've already said 12 cos x dx is the same as 12 du, so we've got 12, and we usually put the du at the end, and so we've got an expression here that we're now going to integrate 12 u squared with respect to u, which is something that's fairly straightforward, you can take the 12 out or not, we're ending up with 12 u cubed divided by the new power plus c, which is 4 u cubed plus c. That's not the final answer because we want to substitute back and also we'll rewrite the original integral. The integral of 12 cos x sine squared x dx. According to my uh, substitution, it's 4 u cubed. Um, what is u just remind me, sine x, so it's 4 sine cubed x plus c is my actual answer. Okay, we could check that by differentiating and we'd end up with 12 cos x sine squared x and that's integration by substitution part one. A couple more examples coming up, so check out these ones as well uh, and you can practice it on your own as well.